Hello everyone, welcome. Today's video is going to be multiple hours long. And the thing about this is we are going to be discussing the pharaohs of Egypt. And this page, yeah, there's not a few pharaohs. You know, we're just going to go all the way down. Yeah, there's a lot of pharaohs. 31 dynasties, to be exact. But we're going to be starting from the bottom. We're not doing this because I don't know what this is, and this isn't actually about pharaohs. This is of native rebellions. The last pharaoh to ever exist, Potlemy the 15th Caesar, infant son of Cleopatra the 7th, age 3 when proclaimed the co-ruler with Cleopatra, last known ruler of ancient Egypt when Rome took over. September 2nd, 44, August 30, BC. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going slow, but okay. Pultamali the 14th, Philustafar, Petator, youngest brother of Cleopatra the 7th, and Pultalmi the 13th. January 13th, 47 to 26, July 44 BC. Okay. Let's see. Arsinoe the fourth in opposition of Cleopatra the seventh December year 48 January 47 BC not a long reign at all in fact I'm fairly certain their reign was only about a little over a month let's see Paul Ptolemy the 13th Theos, Philosopator, brother of Cleopatra the 7th, 51 to 13 January 47 BC. Cleopatra the 7th, finally we reached the person who's being mentioned, ruled jointly with her father, Paul Ptolemy the 12th, her brother, Pultelmi the 13th, her brother husband, Pultelmi the 14th, and her son, Pultelmi the 15th. In a modern usage, the standalone use of Cleopatra with no ordinal number usually refers to Cleopatra the 7th. Commit suicide. It's pretty sad. 31st of May. 52 BC to 12th of August, 30 BC. Berenice the fourth, daughter of Paul Ptolemy the twelfth, forced to marry Seleclus Kiupikaigerskrates, but had him strangled. Joint rule with Cleopatra the sixth until 57 BC. 58 BC to 55 BC. Cleopatra the Sixth, daughter of Paul Ptolemy the Twelfth, but theorized by some Egyptologists to actually have been the same person as Cleopatra the Fifth. Cleopatra V. No Fifth, Thintaipareta. Wife of Paul Ptolemy the Twelfth, mother of Berenice the Fourth, ninety-seven BC to sixty-eight BC. Paul Ptolemy the Twelfth Aliutuis, son of Paul Ptolemy the Ninth. Ex I yeah. I'm Fairly certain that is ninth. 
Okay. Deposed in 58 BC, reigned briefly with his daughter Cleopatra VII before his death in 51 BC. 80 BC to 58 BC and 55 to 51 BC. Paul Ptolemy the 11th Alexander, young son of Paul Ptolemy the 10th Alexander, installed by Sulla, ruled for 80 days before being lynched by citizens for killing Berenice the 3rd. 80 BC. Berenice the 3rd forced to marry Paul Ptolemy the 11th murdered his on his orders 19 days later 81 to 80 BC Paul Ptolemy the 10th Alexander died 88 BC you know you're forgotten when the only thing that you know Wikipedia has to comment about you is the year that you died October 10th 110 BC February 109 BC what oh that was just his reign let's see Cleopatra the fourth briefly married to Paul Ptolemy the ninth but was punished out by Cleopatra the third later murdered 28 June 116 to 115 BC Paul Ptolemy the ninth Soter died in 80 BC 28 June 116 October 110 BC Paul Ptolemy Menthonites Proclaimed king by Cleopatra the second soon killed by Paul Ptolemy the eighth 131 BC Cleopatra the third Second wife of Paul Ptolemy the eighth restored with Paul Ptolemy the eighth in 127 BC later co-regent with Paul Ptolemy the ninth and the tenth murdered by her own son Paul Ptolemy the tenth 142, 131 BC, 127, and 107 BC. Paul Ptolemy the Seventh Neos Philopator, proclaimed co-ruler by his father, later ruled under regency of his mother Cleopatra II, 145 to 144 BC. Paul Ptolemy the eighth, oh eighth, Sikinun, proclaimed king by the Alexandrianus in 170 BC, ruled jointly with Paul Ptolemy the sixth, Paul Philomentarion, and Cleopatra the second, from 169 BC to 164 BC, restored. 145 BC to 131 BC, and again in 127 BC, died 116 BC, 171, 163, 144, 131, 127, 116, all of them BC. Okay, Cleopatra II. Wife of Paul Ptolemy, the why do, the six married Paul Ptolemy the eighth around 145 BC, led a revolt against him at 131 BC, and became sole ruler of Egypt. Later, pro reconciled with Paul Ptolemy the eighth, co-ruled with Cleopatra the third and Paul Ptolemy the eighth until 116 BC. Soon I'm going to have to stop reading these dates of reign. You know what? I'll get through this dynasty, which is the which is 1 out of 31. 175 BC, 164, 163, 127, 124, 116, all in BC. 
Paul Tommy. Th Wait. Oh, Paul Tommy the sixth Philuminator lived under the control of Paul Tommy the eighth, one sixty four BC to one sixty three BC. Restored one sixty four BC. Died one forty five BC. May 188 BC, October 164 BC, and 163 July 145 BC. Cleopatra the First of Syra, wife of Paul Ptolemy V, co-regent with P P Ptolemy the Sixth during his minority. February 193, 176 BC. Paul Ptolemy the Fifth, Ekfikinwinis, Upper Egypt in Revolt, 207, 186 BC. July and August, 204, September 180. Ars Enul the Third, wife of Paul Ptolemy the Fourth, murdered. That's not good. Two twenty, two o four B.C. Paul Ptolemy the Fourth, Philopator, died in unclear circumstances, possibly by fire in the palace or murder. December, November, two hundred twenty-two. July, August, 204. Berenice the second, wife of Paul Ptolemy the third, murdered. 244, 243, 222 BC. Paul Ptolemy the third, Agritigris. No description. First one with no description. First of many, 28 January 246, November, December 222 BC. Eracinio, wife of Paul Ptolemy the second. Why am I struggling with Roman numerals? 277, July 270 BC. Weshercare Meyerayunum Paul Ptolemy the Second Philodeus twenty eighth of March two hundred eighty four BC twenty eighth of January two hundred forty six BC S oh S Fenerihi Maniarium Pul Pulmilimeri One Soter Abdicated in um, 285 BC And this is his reign November the 7th from 305 BC to January in 282 BC. Let's see. Okay. Ptolemaic dynasty. I'll read this. The second Hellenistic dynasty of the Polyanites ruled Egypt from 305 BC until Egypt became a province of Rome in 30 BC. Whenever two dates overlap, this means there was a co-regency. The most famous of member of this dynasty was Cleopatra the Seventh, in modern times known simply as Cleopatra, who was successfully the consort of Julius Caesar, and after Caesar's death, of Mark Antony. Having children of both of them, Cleopatra strove to create a dynamic and political union between Egypt and Rome. 
but the assassination of Caesar and the defeat of Mark Antony doomed her plans. Caesaration. Paul Ptolemy the fifteenth, Philincipator Fultimali Caesar, was the last king of the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt, and reigned jointly with his mother Cleopatra the seventh of Egypt. From September 2nd to 45 BC, or 47 BC, he was the eldest son of Cleopatra the seventh, and possibly the only son of Julius Caesar, after whom he was named between the alleged death of Cleopatra on August 12th, 30 BC up to his own alleged death of August 23rd, 30 BC. He, norm he was normally, nominally, the sole pharaoh. It is tradition that he was hunted down and killed on the orders of Octavian, who would become the Roman Emperor Augustus, but the historical evidence does not exist. That was a lot of reading. Argriad, Argriad dynasty. Let's see. The Macedonian Greeks under Alexander the Great ushered in the Hellenistic period. With his conquest of Persia and Egypt, the Argilads ruled from 232 to 309 BC. Sethmenri Melorhyrinum, Alexander the Great, Macedonian, conquered Persia and Egypt. 332 BC, 13th of June, 323 BC. Philip Arch Archideus feeble-minded half-brother of Alexander the Great, 223-217 BC. Hyrubri, Alexander Aegeus, son of Alexander the Third, the Great, and Ruxana, let's see, 117 to 109 BC. Now we are actually at the 31st dynasty. Calabash. Rebel pharaoh who led an invasion in Nubia. I'm not going to read these. It would take... Yeah, this would be like about seven hours long if I read that because I would have to look carefully to make sure I don't missay something. Darius the third, Upper Egypt reunited to Persian control in 335 BC. The Persian Empire was conquered by Alexander the Great in 332 BC. Axitarius the fourth Ares only reigned in Lower Egypt, which for some reason is in the north. Arataxeres, the third. Egypt came under Persian rule for the second time. That, Egypt again came under control of the Archimedean Persians after the Practice of Manthanano, the Persian rulers from 343 BC to 332 BC are occasionally designated as the 31st dynasty. Now we're getting to the actual pharaohs. Let's see. Senedjermilabili Narkth 
Fortuna Fathorthur Hegbridadur, last native ruler of ancient Egypt, to be recognized by Manetho. Eramantarere Dijerdher Theos. Mm -hmm. We have, let's see, co regent with his father, Nehiomanto, first from 365 BC, was overthrown by Nekothiantabo the second, with the aid of Alugius the second of Sparta. Kefikare Kefindarhaitabif Nekhatayanaibo also known as Nekertabif deposed and likely killed Nefarud the second studying the last dynasty starting the last dynasty of native Egyptians father of Teos. Finally, 30th Dynasty. The 30th Dynasty was ruled from 380 BC until once more came under Persian rule in 343 BC. Oh boy. Nefurad Nefertides was deposed and likely killed by Necrobianto I after ruling for only four months, son of Hakor. Who is this guy? Kifermantar Hakor Arcorius retook the throne from the Pustanahad Mustabis. Pustanahad Possibly dethroned Hakor for a year. Oh my. Katharimantarihadire. Hakor. Arceus. Son of Nefraud the first. Bianare Nefaruhud the first or Nefertaris the first also known as Nefertaris defeated Armatius in open battle and had him executed. That was the twenty ninth dynasty. The twenty ninth dynasty ruled from three ninety eight to 380 BC. Don't worry, there are some that last for hundreds of years. Ermatreus, descendant of the Sadi Pharos of the 26th dynasty, led a successful revolt against the Persians. That was the entire 28th dynasty. This is one of the shortest dynasties in the entire thing. Let's see, the 20th dynasty lasted only six years from 404 to 398 BC with one pharaoh. Petubastis Third, a native Egyptian rebel into Del in the Delta. Ooh, we're finally in the 500s. Wait, that does not make sense. Several native rebellions took place during the 27th dynasty. Darius II died in 404 BC. Sogdanius or Sogdanus, a claimant, 
Xerxes the second, a claimant. Actrotexes the first, longhand, died in 224 BC. Artabanus the Hyrusikian. No comment. Xerxes the First, or Xerxes the Great, assassinated by Artabasius of Persia. Darius I, or Darius the Great, ascended the throne by throwing Gautama. Beridia, Smidirimins, Gautama, the son of Cyrus the Great. Keambalinis defeated Pastilamic the Third at the Battle of Persilium at 525 BC. That was the 27th dynasty. Egypt was conquered by the Persian Empire in 525 BC and consulted a Frappy, and as part of this empire until 404 BC, the Archimelian Shadahadhas were acknowledged as pharaohs in this era, forming the 27th dynasty. Now we're on the 26th. There's 31 of these. Ankarhare, Pascamithidik the Third, or Pisamathidik, son of Amasis the Second, ruled for about six months before being defeated by the Persians in the Battle of Perlusium, and subsequently executed for attempting a revolt. Khamrejami, Atmos, Amus the second, Amis the second. He was the last great ruler of Egypt before the Persian conquest, according to the Greek historian Herodotus. He was of common origins, father of Pasatmetik. The third, Pasatmetic the third. I need. Oh, there he is, Pasatmetic the third. Harabe. Warshibri. Apres. Fled Egypt after Amenis the second, who was a general at the time, declared himself pharaoh for following a civil war. Son of Pasatamik the second. Neferibibi. Pasatamik. Pasatamatigadis. Son of Neko the second. And his father of Apris. Where's Neko? Wehlemberbi, Neku the second, or Neko. He doesn't have a lot of neck. That's concerning. He's called Neko. He should have like a longer neck, like a giraffe neck. Most likely the pharaoh mentioned in several books of the Bible. At and the death of Joshua, son of. Patsmik and the father of Patsmik the second. Waharabivik Patsmik the first or Pisadamatikus reunified Egypt, son of Neko the first, and father of Neko the second. The son and successor of Neko the first. Petsurumuk the first managed to reunify Egypt 
and is great, generally regarded as the founder of the 26th dynasty. Well, it's right here, 26th dynasty. Image. Let's see. Mkratatharni. Neku. Neko the first was killed by an invading Kasulite force in 664 BC under Tatamananti, father of Patsamanuk the first. Nekuba, Nekthios, Menethos, Nekthriokovos. His existence has been questioned. That is the first time we've seen that. When your existence is questioned. Tefnukrathun the second. Methanos Sephardites may have been a descendant of the 24th dynasty, the father of Neko the first. Yeah, this person, they just say he doesn't exist sometimes. Let's see. 26th Dynasty. Ruled from around 664 BC to 525 BC. Yeah, that's better than a dynasty that only lasted six years. The Late Period. Runs from around 664 to 332 BC and includes periods of rule by native Egyptians and Persians. And that was the late period. They were ultimately driven back into Nubia. They were estimated a established a kingdom at Naphtha. Let's see, 656 to 590 BC, and later at Mero. Oh, I've seen those in a book. 590 BC to 580. Oh, that's over a thousand years. That's pretty impressive. Could... Let's see. Bakere. Tantamani. Tantamani! Lost control of Upper Egypt in, 500, in 656 BC when Patsamik I extended his authority into Thebes that, in that year. Kepfenadarvruntere. Um. Tatharaka died in 664 BC. Neferkare. Neferkare. Sh uh, Shabaka. Shabaka. Believed to be Shabatikabu's predecessor until the 2010s. Dijukare Shabataku, believed to be Shabaka's successor until the 2010s. Usurmatre Pai, king of Nubia, conquered Egypt in his 20th year. Full reign lasted 24 years, possibly 30 or more. 25th Dynasty. Nubians invaded Lower Egypt and took the throne of Egypt under Pai. Although they already controlled Thebes and Upper Egypt in the early years of Pai's reign, Pai's conquest of Lower Egypt established the 25th Dynasty, which ruled until 556 BC. 656 BC. 24th Dynasty. The 24th Dynasty was a short-lived 
rival dynasty located in the western delta, Saias, with only two pharaohs ruling ruling from three from 732 to 720 BC. At least it's better than six years. Shepsikari, Tefnikrait, they don't have a description. Waharkare, Binfidrhodidi, Bruskarus, no description either. Let's see. Rudaman was succeeded in Thebes by a local ruler. Linny reigned at Thebes only. Mekthonari. Oh gosh. Oh, it just gets worse. There's more crazy names. Shoshuknen the seventh, a poorly attested king. Nobody knows when he lived. Usurmatari Septifemenum Rudanam or I don't even know. Younger son of Osokron III and brother of Takelot or Takelot the Third. Usumatarate Septemanu Takelot the Third co reign with his father Osok. Osor Khan the third for the first five years of his reign. Usramarte set moon. Osor Khan the third, son of Takelot the second, recovered Thebes then proclaimed himself king. Ustiramamatai Shokushwens the sixth successor of Pedubast. What kind of names are these? Like I have never met a person with names like these. Like, really? Usur Materanamirhanig I'm pretty sure there are some people in the world who do have those names, but... Just, wow, these names are really hard to pronounce. You know what, I'm just gonna pronounce it as I put the first. Co-regent with Oh I already read that. Usur Martari Setepatum Pedubast. A rebel seized Thebes from Takelot the Second. Who's this take lot rebel I hear of? Okay, let's see. His throne name was Hedjikarafeneri Setfeneri. Take lot the second. Previously thought to be a 22nd dynasty pharaoh, he is known to be the Founder of the 23rd 23rd Dynasty. The 23rd Dynasty was a local group, again of Libyan origin, based on Heracathiolus and Thebes that ruled from 837 to 
735 BC. Oh, we have so much more. Usurmarte. Osorkan. Osorkan the fourth. Agatharnari Thifir. Shoshenk. Shoshenk the fifth. Usurmatari Hathe. Set. Penry Pammy. This guy doesn't even have a throne name that's known. Show Hank the Fourth Usurmatarehare Set Penry Show Hank the Third. Usur Mataria Bahar Set Pertherinamun Oscron the Second. That is a pretty gold, cool gold statue, I'm not gonna lie. Son of Take Lot the First. Take Lot the First. Son of Oscron the First. Hedgekaferi Peri. That's a cute little bird. Harsisi. An obscure revel at Thebes. Tukapari. Shohank the... Shohank Ib. Obscure pharaoh. Placement uncertain. Hekathermeri Shohank the second obscure pharaoh possibly an a super Sekhathmeri Etheri Oscron the first son of Shohank the first Oh, head jaketh hairy peri set per show Hank the first son of Nimla A, a brother of Oscron the Elder, and a great chief to Mashwesh. Who names their kids Mashwesh? If I named my- if I had kids and I named one of them Mashwesh, I would probably get pelted with stones every day. Cause nobody would be able to pronounce it properly. Or Meshwesh. Like, people are just gonna think I'm a psychopath if I were to ever name a pet or a child after that. Hack. Yeah, possibly the biblical Shishak. Twenty second dynasty. The pharaohs of the twenty second dynasty were Libyans, ruling around nine hundred forty three to seven hundred twenty eight BC. We're almost at that sweet spot of a thousand BC. Or we start to see some more iconic pharaohs. Pasurbatakhaninuit the third, or Pasunamenes the third, possibly the same person as Pasunamenes the second. Either he or Pinajedemen the second is considered to be the last high priest of Amun. Consider to consider himself a pharaoh like figure. Pined Gem. Pined Gem the second. 
son of Menkhetherahari, father of Pushinares the second. Nesbanabudjed the second. Sesmedenis the second, son of Mancatheri. Mancatheri, son of Pinjam. Oh, uh, why? Like, why is his name the Dejikrhasudusufikin? Okay, son of Pinjam. Masaharta, Masaharta, son of Penajem, Penajem the first. Oh, I meant to say the first there. Son of Pen father of Penunemesin. Oh. That is sad looking. He looks like Tutankhamun if his burial mask had all the lapis taken from it. Panikrithig, some sources suggest he may have reigned before Heirihur. Heirihur, the first high priest of Amun, to claim to be Pharaoh. He ruled in the south in Thebes, while Ramesses the eleventh ruled from the north in Pi Ram in Pi Ramesses. Some sources suggest he may have reigned after Pianka the South. Wow. Thebian High Priest of Alnum. Let's see. Though not officially pharaohs, the high priests of Alnum at Thebes were de facto rulers of Upper Egypt during the 21st Dynasty, writing their names in Carthuches. Okay and being buried in royal tombs. Like, oh, there's the 21st Dynasty, but it takes so long, it seems. Titkarfuni, Pasetabekthinunit, the second, Pasunununhirtluvik, the second, son of Pinajam the second, a high priest of Unum or Amun. Natjitigirihithi Peri Set Thimparahanamu Siamun Unknown origins but extensively of a third intermediate period pharaoh. One of the most powerful rulers of the dynasty. Akhtheri Setebereri. Oskron the Elder. We found him. Oskron the Elder. The person who started a, you know, relatively easy name to pronounce. Asokron. Sokon. I don't know at this point, but let's see. Son of Shohenk, a great chief of the Meshwesh, also known as Ashkohar, Usarmarte, Anamithobi, son of Pisbizunisimisi, the first. Akathaferi. Pesavhaidiminunit, the first. Or Penisiminunis, the first. Son of 
Pindagem I, a high priest of Amun, ruled for 40 to 51 years, famous for his intact tomb at Tanis, known as the Silver Pharaoh, due to the magnificent silver coffin he was buried in, one of the most powerful rulers of the dynasty. Neferkare Hanemisinisu Obscure for your reign Hedjikifere Sittimitari Nesabedajaded the first Smininidis the first Married to Tentamun Probable daughter of Ramesses the Eleventh. Finally, we've made it to the beginning of the third intermediate period, or the end, as the order we're doing it. Twenty-first dynasty. The twenty-first dynasty was based at Tanis and was relatively weak group. Theoretically, they were rulers of all Egypt, but in practice, their influence was limited to Lower Egypt. They ruled from 1069 to 943 BC. Third Intermediate Period The Third Intermediate Period, 1077 BC to 664 BC, marked the end of the New Kingdom after the collapse of the Egyptian Empire at the end of the Bronze Age. A number of dynasties of Libyan origin ruled, giving this period its alternate name of the Libyan period. Okay, Menetaparte. Sephet the Path, Ramesses the Eleventh, possibly the son of Ramesses the Tenth, during the second half of his reign, High Priest of Amun, Harihor, ruled over the south from Thebes, limiting his power to Lower or Northern Egypt. He was successful in the north by Smit Ennis. Kefanamarte Setabanathopath. Ramesses X, a poorly documented pharaoh. His reign was between three and ten years long. His origins are completely uncertain. Let's see, Neferkare Setpeneri, Ramesses the Ninth, possibly the grandson of Ramesses the Third. Like, my gosh, it's a mess. So you go from Ramesses the Third to Ramesses the Ninth. Apparently, that's how numbers worked back then. Apparently, for what I think. Thought his father, um, first cousin of Ramesses V and Ramesses VII. Usaramadagre Akthanenemun, Ramesses VIII, an obscure pharaoh who only reigned around a year. In identifiable with Prince Sethigrihethermedeheth the second, son of Ramesses the third, brother of Ramesses the fourth, and Ramesses the sixth, uncle of Ramesses the fifth, and Ramesses the seventh. He is the sole pharaoh of the twentieth dynasty, whose tomb has not been found. I'm sorry about that.
Usermerte Setfinitabari Meritabandium Ramesses the Seventh Son of Ramesses the Fourth No, that's six Nem Marte Menegenerium Ramesses the Sixth Son of Ramesses the Third, Brother of Ramesses the Fourth, Uncle of Ramesses the Fifth. Oh, why? Oh, yeah, his mug shots. Yeah, your. Hey, Ramesses the Fifth. Your mug shot didn't look that good. Yeah, I think you want to get your mug shot retaken because, you know, you're. You know, looking a little dehydrated. Just a little. Yeah, just a little. Usur Makaratarthe. Sekthem Hedrindabari. Ramesses V. Son of Ramesses IV. Usur Matare. Hekamatare. Septethem Ananinomim. Ramesses IV. Son of Ramesses III, during his reign, Egyptian power started to decline. Usurmatere Meryanimun, Ramesses III, son of Sethakainto, fought the Sea Peoples in 1175 BC, possibly assassinated. Harem conspiracy theory. Oh, another amazing mug shot. Like, just look at that. That is the peak of beauty right there. You know, like, yeah, just. This is how you get this beautiful look. One, be dead. Two, sit there for about 70 days. Three, have your makeup applied. And then four, be kept in a dusty, dark tomb for 3,000 years, and then be released. That is how you get that beautiful look. Usur Makanathari, Sethekanaithi, not related to Seti II, or Siptath, or Terusetheth, may have up, may have uspered. The throne from Tatarisiti did not recognize Sipiatath or Tarusitse as legitimate rulers, possibly a member of a minor line of the Ramasades royal family, also called Setnakiniti. 20th Dynasty The 20th Dynasty was ruled from 1190 to 1077 BC. Now we're getting to more iconic pharaohs, if you really know of them. But seriously, name five pharaohs. Name five of them off the top of your head. Satare Merenanyanyanyim. Tarusitokret. Possibly the wife of Seti II, also known as Torsorovet or Tawustudret. Okay. Sekathanadarevre. And then the Dunkarthurni. Marananadapath. Sipath. Possibly the son of Seti II or Aramenegis. Ascended to throne at a young age. Usurahanakarthari Seti the second son of Manthopath may have had to overcome a contest by Eratomethes before he could Solidify his claim to the throne. Mininumari Setafenari and most likely a usurper to the throne, 
possibly ruled in opposition to Seti II, suggested son of Meridenthapath. Bananarir Meripathath, 13th son of Ramesses II. My gosh, he had 13 sons. I get it that kids died like instantly back then, but 13 is excessive. Usur Meritamari Setarfanini Ozamadadais. Ramesses the Second or Ramesses the Great continued expanding Egypt's territory until he reached the stalemate with the Hittite Empire at the Battle of Kadesh in 1275 BC, after which the famous Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty was signed in 1258 BC had one of the longest Egyptian reigns. Menemunarete? Okay. Seti the first reigned much of the territory that was lost under the reign of Akhtenikating. Menethrithafarate, Ramesses the first of non-royal birth Succeeded Harumbaduth due to his lack of an heir. 19th. The 19th dynasty was ruled from 1292 to 1186 BC. This includes one of the greatest pharaohs, Ramesses II or Ramesses the Great. Yep, that's pretty true. Now let's see some more. Okay. The Jinnathagribore. The Setathamhore. Hamubuvef. Oh, these are long descriptions now. Born a commoner. Was a generally. Was a general during the. Amarina period. Obliterated images of Aramanana Pharos and destroyed and vandalized buildings and monuments associated with them. Succeeded by succeeded despite Nectarinum being the intended heir. Kefarhathagutmari the second. Wow, two letters. Your parents really loved you. Was Grand Visor to the one, the only Tutankhamun, or King Tut. One of, if not the most iconic ancient Egyptian pharaohs and an important figure during the reign of Ekthadhani and Semnikthadhari, possibly the brother of Tiai, great wife of Inhathetavoth III, and also possibly the father to Nefertiti. Great White to Akatadenthinen, believed to have been born into nobility but not royalty, succeeded to in common due to his lack of an heir. Okay, and now we have it. Nebkarhatharperharui to in common. Commonly believed to be the son of Akhtarnihadimusti. Most likely restained the polytheistic ancient Egyptian religion. Name changed from Tutankhamun to Tutankhamun. 
reflects to reflect the change in religion from monolateristic atheism to the classic religion of which a moon is a major deity he is thought to have been taken to the throne at around the age of eight or nine and have died around the age of 18 or 19 giving him the nickname the boy king Tutankhamun was a weak ruler suffering from multiple health issues however he became famous for being buried in a decorative tomb intended for someone else called KV-62! Who's KV-62? Yeah, when your parents don't love you enough to give you a name that... Like, if you don't know anything about naming laws in the United States, a name like KV-62 would actually be illegal. Because apparently you're not allowed to have numbers in your name in the United States. Yeah, it's actually a real law. Ankathiharibiri Mary Neferkathiharibiri Neferkathiharibiri A female pharaoh, possibly the same ruler as Sekhenemahari. Archaeological evidence relates to a woman who regained as pharaoh I said no, reigned as pharaoh towards the end of the Amerindian period. It is likely she was Nefertiti. <sighs> yeah, I need to take a short little break. Real quick, like a minute. Okay, I'm back. Just need to get a drink of water. Let's see. Arkathan Hariruni. Um, wait. Possibly the same. Oh, I read that, not this. Arkathan Hari, Sikhan Hariruni. Ruled jointly with Akatayandian during the later years of his reign. Known if sick, unknown if Sikhanari even ruled in his own right. I identify and even the gender of Sikhanari is uncertain. Some suggest he may have been the son of Ecterinian, possibly the same person as Tutankhamun. Others speculate Sukhatanari may have been Nefertiti 
or Mintonerian may have been succeeded or identical with a female pharaoh named Neferneteneferneu. Neferkeferunun Warunyi Amethethmos the fourth Antoninian Archiris founder of the Amerandian period which he changed the state religion from polytheistic ancient religion to monotheistic Atandianism centered around worship of the Aten or Sun an image of the Sun disk he removed the capital actually no he moved the capital to Akatadian which what which was the second son of Amenothepop the third he changed his name from Amenthetopop. Amun is pleased to Akathenunyum, effective for the attend to reflect his religion change. That was a lot. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I have to get through this. Nebemerte, Amidubibeth, the third, the magnificent, father of Akatanian, and the grandfather of Tutankhamun, ruled Egypt at the height of its power, built many temples and monuments, including his enormous. Mortuary Temple was the son of Tutmos the Fourth Menkathekafuri Tutmos Thutmos the Fourth, famous for his dream stele, a son of Amethethemuthus the Second, ruled during the height of Egypt's power. Akathenidavai Amenathabup, the second son of Thutmos the third, ruled during the height of Egypt's power. Makathantari Thutmos the third, son of Thutmos the second, may have ruled jointly with Habshetsut in his aunt and his stepmother during the early part of her reign. Famous for his territorial expansion into the Levant and Nubia under his region, the ancient Egyptian empire was at its greatest extent ruled during the height of Egypt's power before the end of his reign. He obliterated Hepshetsut's name and image from templates from temples and monuments. Matkare Hepshetsut the second known female ruler of Egypt may have ruled jointly with her nephew Thutmos the third during the early part of her reign, famous for her expedition to punt document on her famous mortuary temple at Diyarabunhi, built many temples and monuments, ruled during the height of Egypt's power was the daughter of Thutmos the first and the great wife of her brother Thutmos the second 
me up. No. Out of head in the Thucydides. Thutmos the second, son of Thutmos the first, grandson of Amathabubet the first, thought his mother um Mutanufruit Let's see Akathanri Thutmos the first Father unknown Possibly Amethanos the first. His mother is known to be Sensebe, expander of e expanded Egypt's territorial extent during its reign. Dejikarai Amenhotothebep, son of Amos the first. Neherabite Amuhus Amutus the first brother and successor of Camus conquered north of Egypt from the Huskus. Oh we are half We're halfway We are halfway. New Kingdom, the New Kingdom, 1550 to 1077 BC. This period covering the 18th, 19th, 20th dynasties of Egypt from the 16th to the 11th century BC, between the Second Intermediate Period and the Third Intermediate Period. Through military dominance aboard the New Kingdom saw Egypt's greatest territorial extent. Expanded far into Nubia in the south and held wide territories in the Near East. Egyptian armies fought with Hittite armies for control of modern day Syria. Three of the best known pharaohs of the New Kingdom are Akhtarnhunin, also known as Antherhomurus IV, whose exclusive worship of the Aten is often interpreted as the first instance of monotheism, Tutankhamun, known for the discovery of his nearly intact tomb, and Ramesses II, who attempted to recover the territories in modern Israel and Palestine, Lebanon and Syria, that had been held in the 18th dynasty. His reconquest led to the Battle of Kadudresh, where he led the Egyptian armies against the army of the Hittite king Muwati II. The 18th dynasty ruled from 5550 BC to 1292 BC. There's still more. Oh, so much more! Wajiriri Camus Six of Teo died in battle against Haikirus Senecasari Aranus Suska Feberi Mimi Adidavum Hermatirith Intef the Seventh Yeah, that is your face when your parents yell for you across the house. Just a face of concern. And like, seriously, was this was this guy's skull made of paper mache? Like seriously. Nubukafiri Intef the Six reigned more than three years. 
Sekhamare Wiptamahat Intef the Fifth. Oh, thank you. The seventeenth dynasty isn't that long. Sekhamare Shudmitha Waith Sub Kemasif the second. His tomb was robbed and burned during the reign of Ramesses the Ninth. Sekhemhermini Wad Jhakra Subukabetheth Sekhemhermethrohavulapa Rathotepth Let's see, 17. Based in Upper Egypt and ruled from 1650 to 1550. May have compromised the reigns of pharaohs Sephrakanitai Pepi III and Nepertamarte. Their chronological position is uncertain. Sekhemarari. Said shed wash, wast, shed wast. Maybe the same as Sikhamari, should Matatali and Sobikamas the second. Senefetrabu. Senustret the four the yeah fourth Manukare Method hoped it the sixth Dijedikare Hare Monsumafaf Dejanit Dead Muos the second. Dead Jehothorthre, Dead Most the first. Maybe a king from the thirteenth dynasty. Like, seriously, this person is so unknown. That it's uncertain if they even were a part of this dynasty or even existed mainly. Sousresenrin Babankinthaha Semere Neferkare Neferkare but there's a mystery mark. Literally, nobody knows. Nipurkathra, the second. Nisuwathathi, Nipurkathra, the first. Sin Katharain, Nan. Menten the Huthupepi? Tepi? Maybe a king of the 17th dynasty. Ooh, this guy didn't even rule for a year. Let's see. Let's see. Sekhthan, uh, no. Oh, Sekhthan and Halmeran and Hister Hakan Wank of Flossine. Mefford of Hopadap, the third. Sekhthan Marstu Rahabubaskre. Sobekhadap, the eighth. The second the Mr. Hat the Witness Dejahuti Dejahuti 
and a completely blank king. The name of the first king is lost here in the Truin King List and cannot be recovered. Oh my. This, whoever would have been here, they are in, they are 100% forgotten by history. If their only reference of existence can't even be, like, can't even be recovered and, and has been destroyed, yeah, we don't know if they actually existed. Oh, and this was the 16th Dynasty. The 16th Dynasty was a native Thebian dynasty emerging from the collapse of the Memphis-based 13th Dynasty around 1650 BC. They were finally conquered by Heskinerus' 15th Dynasty around 1580 BC. It held sway over Upper Egypt only, which since Egypt was crazy at the time, like, seriously, back then, north was south, and south was north. Like, Upper Egypt, when you think about it at first, you'd think that, oh, it's in the north. No, it's in the south. So Lower Egypt was in the north. It makes no sense, but Hibre, only known from the Truan canon, believed to be, believed by Kim Ryloth to have been part of the Abydus dynasty. Sekaramahathriyuburu Wep Wasermathaft may belong to the late 16th dynasty. Oh my. Secretanimus Pantageni may belong to the late 16th dynasty. Menthkarui Snabid may belong to the late 16th di 13th dynasty. Wurzribi Seneca Bay, okay. Tomb discovered in 2014, perhaps on I. Identifiable with a wusseri of the Truan canon. Abduus, second intermediate period, may include an independent dynasty reigning over Abduus from 1650 to 1600 BC. Four tested kings may be tentatively attributed to the Abdeus Abdeus the dynasty and they are given here without regard of their unknown chronological order <sighs> there's so much more left Kamudi nothing Apepi Apepi Kiayon Apex of Hisko's power conquered Thebes towards the end of his reign likely 30 to 35 years Oh my Sirikhar Per Anat Chronological position uncertain Simkudnian 
chronological order, position uncertain. Salitis, Salitis ruled Lower Egypt and founded the 15th dynasty. 15th dynasty. The 15th dynasty arose from the Hokiusk people who emerged from the Fertile Crescent to establish a short-lived government over much of the Nile region and ruled from 1674 BC to 1535 BC. Oh my. The Truan Kings list provides additional names, none of which are tested beyond the list. Now, we're getting to the truly obscure kings. The dreaded 14th dynasty. But this isn't even the most obscure of them all. Jakob Har may belong to the 14th, the 15th, or maybe or be a vassal of the Hokros. Yakreb. Wazad may be identical with Sehebre or Mijudifare. Shensek Shensek attested by a scarab. Shenshg may be identifiable with Shibre or Mendeverfere. Yeah, attested by a scarab seal. Kimunre. No comment or personal name known. The position and identity of the following pharaohs is uncertain. Yes, we are in the dreaded Allow me to read this. The 14th Dynasty was a local group of the Eastern Delta based at Avaris that ruled from either 1805 BC to around 1710 BC until around 1650 BC. The dynasty is, let's see. The dynasty compromised many rulers with West Semitic names and is thus believed to have been Canaanite in origin. It is here given, according to Roy Holt, according to I mean, however, this reconstruction of the dynasty is heavily debated, with the position of the five kings preceding Neshi highly disputed. We're going to read this the entirely other way than we've been reading the others. Second Hathari. Yakabim chronological position unclear here given according to Roy Holt Nubusorore Yaminumu chronological position unclear here given per Roy Holt Kawahorse Kawin Chronological position unclear, here given per Roy Holt. Apathamari Amu 
chronological position unclear. Here given per Roy Holt. Maribiri. Shikshashi. Chronological position during the next and extend it during the reign and extended of an extend of the rule of rule uncertain here given according to Roy Holt alternatively he could be an early Hakios king a Hakios ruler of the second part of the 15th dynasty or Vassil of the Hakios Ashtiferi, Neshi, short reign, perhaps the, a son of Sheshi. Now, here we go to the absolutely just forgotten kings, or queens, or aliens. Like, nobody knows about them. Like, like very few people even know. Let's see. Kahawarare. Nebefuere. Sehebrine. Possibly identifiable with Wazad or Shenen. Or Shene. Merdjivere. Possibly identifiable with Wazad or Shenhe. Sura Bujuare the third. Neb Jifere. Webnere. Name lost. Yep. This person at one point had a name, but now it's lost. Djifere, Wibnire, Awabri, the second, Haribre, Nabsirini, attested by a bearing, by a jar bearing his no men a jar a jar is the reason this we even know this person existed like don't take these tiny little items for granted when in a few thousand years the only thing you could be remembered for is like I don't know like a pair of socks that's just in a dumpster or something it's like fossilized or I don't know a jar filled with like fossilized strawberry jam that could be the only reason people know you existed but anyway let's move next name lost re sikaramithapare tested by a single scarab seal Dijuharikari, Sankaritathunuri, Menthanidharathunuri, Sekunhathamuri, Kamhakaharari, Neferibre, Ire, Kahare, Akare, only known. From the Turin Canon, which just look at this picture right here. Just that is what we have of the Turin Canon. Like, if that is all we have, just imagine what is missing. Yeah, basically, nobody would have their names missing if. You know, the turn cannon was full. Tapu Seminare Dejikare Anati 
only known from Turn Cannon. Bebnum. Bebnum. Only known from the Turing Cannon. Oh, gee, I, I'm decently sure that the Turing Cannon is very, very important. Let's see. Name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost. Eight lines lost in the Turing Cannon. Sad. Senfre. Menre. Dejd re. Name lost, name lost, name lost. Three lines lost in the Turin Cannon. Ink. Just ink. Uh. Only known from the Turin Cannon. Name may be read as Ineb. According to Alan Gardiner, Apepye, possibly attested as a king, a uh, king's son by five scarab seals. Name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost, name lost. Five lines lost in the turn canon. Let's count. We have 11, 16, and 17. Yes, 18. We have 18 pharaohs in the 14th dynasty whose names have been forgotten in time. But now 13th. Menekathare. Snabdid. Possibly a king of Abdirios dynasty. Meshinathare. Inni the second. Yeah, you know you're forgotten when the only thing known about you is... Like, what dynasty you were from, and the only comment they have to say is... Fun fact, this king was from the 13th dynasty. Yeah. Siwaharani. Sienenbunrimu. Late 13th dynasty. Dejinadadharadadefe. Dedmuse. The second, possibly a king of the 16th. Why is he in the 13th dynasty then? Dejjadrhorthre. the second, possibly a king of the 16th dynasty. Position of the following kings is uncertain. Re. Se. Re. Unknown, unknown. Sekhshukrene. Sankathapadiyatahi. May be the son of his predecessor. Sekare, unknown. Horwiburni. Ibmatri. Morse. Just Morse. Like, wow, these people are obscure. Suedajadare Mentuthopateth the fifth. Name lost. Mercare attested only on the Truin Canon. Menkerathare Mere Another seven kings Names lost in Lukuna of the Truin 
a Lucuna of the True Canon. Mercaure Sobaketsatope the seventh reigned two years and six months. Suwadjikare the second Hori reigned five years. Mishakarhatrebe I need I need maybe the same person as Neferhotoped the second. Um Senkatanikare Suwadjuti attested only in the true and canon. Marathotope Ni Possibly a son of his predecessor Menthari Ahai Longest reigning king of the dynasty Bunaburi Abayu Ten years, eight months Kahatrope Sombukupitheth the six four years, eight months, and twenty nine days. Merhathapre Sobekathoped the fifth Kandafare Sobekhopated the fourth. 10 or 11 years. Minwedrere Sihatthor and for Mindil Kordjent with his brother Nefupatad the first may not have reigned independently. Kassandrimire Nefertpopated, the first, eleven years. Sekathadunusugrastadjiru. Sobekathopated, the f third. Four years and two months. Seth Midbre. Seth the in Teth, the fourth, Smikadmere, Aimivishkarasal, Usakare, Kahendajujer, possibly the first Semitic pharaoh, built a pyramid at Sakrara, attested by two colossal statues. Founder of the dynasty in old studies, Kathuri Wagath, Sedjikafere, a well known king, attested on numerous steel stalas and other documents. Sebke. Possibly two kings, Seb and his son K. Dijwadegrifiru, possibly a son of Hur Alburhale and brother of Kahuaba, previously identified with Kadinjerer. Um, Sekadamiru with the Bapa. Kawa um Kahabishara possibly a son of Horawarai Abarai Haru famous for his intact tomb, treasure and ta statue Riseneb four months Kenikare Sokabundovev Referred to as Soktepdemufibeb, second, in dominant hypothesis, 
known as Sepukhbetev I in older studies. Nedjurbindirimiri, only known from the Truan canon. Suadjikare, only known from the Truan canon. Atesagshurdivaskrib, Sivutadiskatsvi, attested on the Truan canon. Samnegdhikare, Nibunini, attested on the Truan canon. Sian Kivhari Aten Matadvaf the six attested on the Shroom Canon Ifni Ifni was probably the inventor of that little meme app site called iFunny or something like that. Only attested on the Shroom Canon Hutabri Omina Tabaru Shistabashadar Indijaretrif Also called Shabuhetabrib <laughs> Amyani Kuyamu Buried in his pyramid in South Dashur Okay Sekamanare Almentenarundahat the fifth ruled for three to four years. Nifrikare attested on a Nile record of Semna. Mahavithadhavidusikamare Tenmet Sobef, perhaps a brother of Sekuminere Kuthue uh, Sokubef, and of Antemendinarat the fourth. Sekuminere Kuthuidef Subenduaketh the first founded the 13th dynasty. His reign is well attested, referred to as Sukodabeth in the first in dominant hypothesis known as Sukodabeth the second in older studies. We are more than halfway there, but oh, it's only that long. Oh, thank gosh. The second intermediate period. 1802 to 1550 BC. This is a period of disarray between the end of the Middle Kingdom and the start of the New Kingdom. It is best known as when the Hakiros, whose reign comprised the 15th dynasty made their appearance in Egypt. The 13th was much weaker than the 12th and was unable to hold into the two lands of Egypt, either at the start of the dynasty, circa 1805, or towards the middle of it in circa 1710. The provincial ruling family in Oxus, located in the marshes of the eastern delta, broke away from the central authority to form the Canaanite 14th dynasty. The Oxus made their first appearance during the reign of Sipokabeth the fourth and around um, 1720 BC took control of the town of Averius, the modern Teledaba, Teledab, 
Ba. Conquering the kingdom of the 14th dynasty sometime around 1650 BC. The Hikinonios, perhaps led by Salitis, the founder of the 15th dynasty, conquered Memphis, Therabi, terminating the 13th dynasty, the power vacuum in the upper, in upper Egypt, resulting from the collapse of the 13th dynasty, allowed the 16th dynasty to declare its independence in Thebes, only to be overrun by the Hakus king shortly thereafter. Subsequently, as the Hakus withdrew from Upper Egypt, the native Egyptian ruling house in Thebes set itself up as the 17th dynasty. This dynasty eventually drove the Hakus back into Asia under Sukrinit Tau Kamenos, and finally Amuyus, first pharaoh of the new kingdom. The 13th dynasty following the Truan Kings list ruled from 1802 BC to around 1649 BC and lasted 153 or 154 years according to Manentho. This table should be contrasted with known kings of the 13th dynasty. That was a lot of reading. Sobakere. Subukapafuri or Semitikinigabrufuris, first known archaeological attested female pharaoh. Makathare, a mentored race, had a co regency lasting at least one year based on. Inscription at Kionios. Okay. Minatare, Antonidji the third, Limnares, Kahutikare, Sunusutret the third, Sensutoris, most powerful of the Middle Kingdom pharaohs. Kathakararides. Sun Senusret the second. No name given by Menentho. Menekare or Nubkare. Atenerubdumusterakro. Menetheninius. Ruled for at least 35 years. Kefiokari. Senrusiet the first, Senisgrostibis, built the White Chapel. Sebinthribrib, the Amethyrandiant, Amethyrandiant, possibly overthrow Mesopotamia the. Fourth, assassinated by his own guards, ruled from, you know what, never mind. The 12th dynasty ruled from 1991 BC to 1802 BC. Now we have very, now we have kings I've never even heard of. Kings I don't even know of. Sagrinensi, obscure pharaoh. I should know. Wait a minute. All of these comments are the same for them. Oh my. 
all of these are the same. Ekeir Harbitarini, Kuareki, Ini. Mm hmm, let's see. We also have Enigmatic Kings, only attested in Lower Nubia. Now we're on the 11th dynasty, continued. Nebutetherare, Menutehoptep, the fourth, obscure pharaoh absent from later kings list, tomb unknown, may have been overthrown by his vizier and successor, Amenhotep the first. Senekatikare, Mentenudhoputepeth the third commanded the first expedition to Punt, the middle of Kingdom of Egypt. Nebuchadnezzarade, Menuhotep the second gained all Egypt. Six, um, circa 2015 BC, Middle Kingdom begins first. Becomes first pharaoh of Middle Kingdom. Middle Kingdom. The Middle Kingdom of Egypt, 2040 BC to 1802 BC. This is the period from the end of the first intermediate period to begin to the beginning of the second intermediate period. In addition to the 12th dynasty, some scholars include the 11th, 13th, and 14th dynasties in the Middle Kingdom. The Middle Kingdom can be noted for the expansion of trade outside the kingdom that occurred during this time. The second part of the 11th dynasty is usually considered to be the beginning of the Middle Kingdom of Egypt. Nakthatandengadamnestherver in Teth the Third, considered as Yut, and possibly moved further north up to the 17th Nome. Wahakang in Teth the Second, conquered Abdios and its Nome. Sehatrothe in Tef the first, first member of the dynasty to claim Haru's name. Okay, that guy doesn't have a throne name known. Menthuputepeth the first, normally a Thebian monarch, Thea Pia, but may have ruled independently. The successor of Intef the Elder, starting with Minutadupupeth the first, became independent from their northern overlords and eventually conquered Egypt under Minutadupupeth the second or Intef. Wait, I oh I. Don't think it's Intef. Yeah, Intef the second and this person the second are two separate people. Okay, image. Intef the Elder. Thebian monarch Iripatat. Serving an unnamed king, later considered a founding figure of the 11th dynasty. The 11th dynasty originated from a group of Thebian monarchs serving kings of the 8th, 9th, or 10th dynasty, with roots in Upper Egypt that ruled from 2134 to 1991 BC. Now we're on the 10th dynasty. Medarkarare. Wakakare Keth Keti the third Octheos the third Nefrikare the eighth Minhadthanthor 
The Tenth Dynasty was a local group that held sway over Lower Egypt and ruled from 2130 to 2040 BC. Now we're in the Ninth Dynasty. H. That is literally all that is known about them. H. Shed. Mary. Unknown. Setut. Senid or Setut. Nebkare. Nebkare Keti. Nebkare Keti Second. Or Actios the Second. Neferkare the Seventh. Meribari Keth Keti the First or Akthios the First. Unknown. Manetho states that Akthios founded this dynasty. The Ninth Dynasty ruled from 2160 to 2130 BC. The Truan Kings list has 18 kings reigning in the Ninth and Third. 9th and 10th dynasty. Of these, 12 names are missing, and 4 are partial. Now we're getting to the thing where kings, basically nobody knows if they actually did exist, but we're soon getting to that point. Neferikare Possibly to be identified with Harus de Juandjaturahati, in which case he is attested by a decree decree from the temple of Min. Nefkarhori Kuhandurawapi, attested by eight decrees from the temple of Min and an inscription of the tomb of Shime Neferkare. This is not the same person as Neferkare. Let's see. Nefer... Nope, it's not the same person. Neferkare. Neferkare is not the same as Neferkare. Get that right. These are two completely different people, because this person has a U in their name. Neferkare does not. Attested by one of the th one to three decrees from the Temple of Min at Koptos, Quarkare, Ibi built a pyramid at Shakara, inscribed with the last known instance of the pyramid text. Neferkamanin Anu, Neferkare the Sixth, Pabisindabab, mm -hmm. Neferkare, attested by a cylindrical seal. Neferakare the fifth, Tiaru, Nikare, possibly attested by a cylindrical seal, Tsinefakare, Neferkamin the first, Menhadinhodor, Neferkare the fourth, Kenebinu, Dijakare the Shemya Shimae Neferkare the third Nebi attested by inscriptions in the tomb of his mother Akthinhusikrusepi started the construction of pyramid in Shakra Neferkare the second Menkare Likely attested by relief fragment from the tomb of Queen Nedi. Okay, this is a lot of reading, but I'll still read it. 
the first intermediate period, 2183 BC to 2060 BC, is a period of disarray and chaos between the end of the Old Kingdom and the advent of the Middle Kingdom. The Old Kingdom rapidly collapsed after the death of Pepi II. He had reigned for more than 64 years and likely up to 94, longer than any monarch in history. The later years of his reign were marked by inefficiency because of his advanced age. The union of the two kings fell apart, and regional leaders had to cope with the resulting famine. The kings of the 7th and 8th dynasties, who represented the successors of the 6th dynasty, tried to hold on to some power in Memphis, but owed much of it to powerful monarchs after 20 to 45 years. They were overthrown by a new line of pharaohs based on Heraclepolis Magna sometime after these events. A rival line based at Thebes revolted against their normal northern, nominal northern overlords and united Upper Egypt around 2055 BC. Manuthiropep II, the son and successor of the pharaoh Intef III, defeated the Har Harleopitalian pharaoh and reunited the two lands, thereby starting the Middle Kingdom, 7th and 8th dynasties. The 7th and 8th dynasties ruled for approximately 20 to 45 years. They comprised numerous encrithomerial kings and reigned from Memphis over a possibly divided Egypt, and in any case, holding only limited power owing to the efficiency fuel, efficiently feudal system into which the administration had evolved. The list below is based on the Abdus king, dating to the reign of Seti I, and taken from Jürgen von Beck Beckerath's Birchberg de Agusbergadanknamen as well as from Kim Roloth's latest reconstruction of the Truan Canon, and another king list adding, dating to the Ramesseed area, I mean era. Now we're before the first intermediate period. Okay. Nekta the Krariti, Necrotius, Svitaya the First, identical with Nejikere. This male king gave rise to the legendary queen Necrotius of Hectorotus and Manetho, sometimes classified as the first king of the combined seventh and eighth dynasties. Marinere Nem Tihasukath the Second Short lived Pharaoh, possibly an aged son of Pepi the Second Neferka reigned during Pepi the Second was possibly his son or co ruler. Possibly writing mistake for Neferkere. Neferkere, Pepi the Second, possibly the longest reigning monarch of human history with 94 years on the throne. Alternatively, 
may have reigned only 64 years. That's still very impressive considering how long ago this was. Merenuri. Nemestatifemaft the first. Mere, Pepe the first, faced conspiracies and political troubles, yet became the most prolific builder of his dynasty. Usurkare, reigned for one to five years, may have usurped the throne at the expense of Tete. Tatai, according to Man Manitho, he was murdered. It's not good at all. The Sixth Dynasty of Egypt ruled from 2345 BC to 2181 BC. Unas. The pyramids of Unas. Oh, that, those are not in good condition at all is inscribed with the earliest instance of the pyramid text. Dejikare. I say you see. Effected um, comprehensive reforms of the Egyptian administration enjoyed the longest reign of his dynasty with likely more than 35 years on the throne. Menakrhor Kiauyu, last pharaoh to build a sun temple. That's actually quite strange. The fact that back then sun temples were popular and memes often say that Egyptians worshipped the sun back then, which was true, but I didn't know it was like a very old religious belief in Egypt. But anyway, Nirmamusri Ini, brother of Neferi, built extensively in the Abu Sirur necropolis. Shepaskavkare reigned most likely after Neferkare and only for a few months, possibly a son of Sahare. Neferi, son of Neferikare, Neferikare, Kekei, son of Sahure, born with the name Ranefer. Ranefer is a so much easier to pronounce name. Sahure moved the royal necropolis to Abusur, Abusur where he built his pyramid. That's in better condition than the previous pyramid we looked at. Usifikaf, Usirkaf. Hey, he looks pretty good for being 4,500 years old. Buried in the pyramid of Sekura. Built the first solar temple at Abu Sir. The fifth dynasty ruled from 2496 to 2345 BC. Thanthmanthbis. According to Manitho, the last king of the fourth dynasty, he is not archaeologically attested and thus possibly fictional. Sekirisukaf, Greek from Serbikadris, owner of the Mastabat El Ferunium. Interesting. Menakare, Greek for Minchiris. His pyramid is the third and smallest in Giza. And legend claims that his only daughter died to an illness and Menkura buried her in a golden coffin in the shape of a cow. That's pretty cool.
being buried in a coffin that isn't shaped like a human? That's actually pretty cool. Baka. It's not sussy baka, it's just baka. Bawafre. Bawafre. Bakiris. Bakiris. Could be the owner of the unfinished northern pyramid of Zewatai El Arian. Possibly fictional. So you're, this page is saying that Baka was fictional? I really hope his first name was Sussy. Kahar Kafre, Kafurin, and Sufius II. Mm -hmm. His pyramid is the second largest in Giza. Some scholars prefer to him as the Cretan. Eater of the Great Sphinx before Digithera. Ancient Greek author described Carafera as likewise cruel as Khufu. That's an iconic name. Digithera. Ratolis. Some scholars believe he created the Great Sphinx of Giza, as a monument for his deceased father, he also created a pyramid at Abu Rawa, Abu Rawash. However, this pyramid is no longer existent, because it is believed the Romans repurposed the materials from it which was, it was made. That's sad. The fact that this pyramid no longer exists? That's actually sad. Khufu. Xiorkrups, or Sufis I. Built the Great Pyramid of Giza, Khufu is depicted as a cruel tyrant by ancient Greek authors. Ancient Egyptian sources, however, describe him as a generous and pious ruler. He is the main protagonist in... Westcar Papyrus, the first imprinted papyri originating from Khufu's reign, which may have made ancient Greek authors believe that Khufu wrote books in attempt to praise the gods. That's a pretty cool gold statue. Senifru. Reigned for 48 years, or Soros, that's what it is, but giving him enough time to build the Medium Pyramid, the Bent Pyramid, and the Red Pyramid. Some scholars believe that he was buried in the Red Pyramid for a long time. It was thought that the Medium Pyramid was not Sneferu's work but that of King Huni. Ancient, Egypt docu ancient Egyptian documents describe Sneferu as a pious, generous, and even a costable ruler. The fourth dynasty ruled from 2613 to 2496 BC. We are in the last three confirmed dynasties. Before that, it is all skeptical. Huni, Axis, could be the same as Kajudelit or Kahaba, possibly built the, un an unfinished step pyramid, and several cultic pyramids throughout Egypt. Huni was for a long time credited with building of a pyramid of medium or midum myedum. I kept saying medium. Why? It's myedum. This is however disproved by the new kingdom graffiti that praised King Snofru, not Huni. Kehaba. Possibly built in unfinished step pyramids, 
could be identified identical with Huni. Sankathat, likely to be identified with the throne name of Nekraba, Nekab, Nebka, Hellenized names Nekriosopius or Nekriophetes, may have reigned six years if identified with the Pelumpative king of the dynasty on the Truan canon. Sekhermantehet Tateres After the Ramesses Kautuch name for Sekhermantehet or Teddy. In the necropolis of his unfinished step pyramid, the remains of a two year old infant were found. That's horrifying. De Djoser or Djoser. Stephenosotros or Tostriososotros, Hellenized names, Sestriososos or Tostriososos, commissioned the first pyramid. Pyramid of Djoser is the first pyramid in Egypt. That is really cool. In Egypt, created by chief architect and scribe Imhotep. Third Dynasty. The Third Dynasty ruled from 2686 to 2613 BC. And we are finally before the Old Kingdom. The Old Kingdom of Egypt is a long period of stability and growth following the early dynastic period and preceding the troubled First Intermediate Period. The kingdom spanned from 2686 AD BC to 2181 BC. Wow. It lasted over it lasted 505 years. That's pretty cool still. Kashuhajemiwi Chenaris Greek for Chenaris may have reunified Egypt after a period of trouble. His Serek name is unique for presenting both Harus and Set. Hadujifa the first, only known for um, Ramesside King's List. His name is actually a paraphrase, pointing out that the original name of the king was already lost in Ramesside time. My. Nephorokhadrisar Sokrochris. Sekrochris. Known only from Ramesside King's List, not archaeologically attested, Old Kingdom legends claim that this ruler saved Egypt from a long-lasting drought. Neferkara I, or Neferikris. Greek form Neferikris, only known only from Ramesside King's List, not archaeologically attested. Sekurbehemebim Paramabat could be the same person as Seth Perisabin. Seth Perisabin used a Seth animal above his Sektar rather than a Horus falcon. He promoted the sun cult in Egypt and reduced the powers of officials. Nominarchs and Palatines. Some scholars believe that he ruled over a divided Egypt. I didn't even know that back then there were just so many cults back then. I didn't even know cults happened back then. Senedij Senesosis. Greek form Sanitides, possibly the same person as 
parabens, parabasin. This is, however, this, however, is slightly disputed. I mean, highly disputed. When get when ag nebati otolagas tias, Greek form ogutalas tilas, could be an independent ruler or the same as persaben, segviem persabemat, or renab. Nyajdzir, binutorius, Greek form binutorius, may have divided Egypt between his successors, allegedly allowed women to rule like pharaohs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he was giving, yeah, he was supporting women rights about 4,000 years before America did. Actually, no, like 4,500 years before America did. That's really cool. Nebra. And Kaliukius. Greek form, Kaliukius, after the Ramatiz cartouche name Kakwa. First ruler who uses the sun symbol in his royal name could be identified as King Weneg. Hadto Bethios. Manatho named him Bethios and claimed that under his rule, this rule, an earthquake killed many people. The second dynasty ruled from 2890 to 2686 BC. And now, the last confirmed dynasty, the first dynasty, Harus Bird, very short reign, correct chronological position unknown. Sneferukara, very short reign, correct chronological position unknown. Kua Benikarishkidis, Greek form. Bayanakrishik ruled very long. His tomb is the last one with subsidiary tombs. I don't know what subsidiary tombs are, but that's really cool. Semikrahadis, Semipaifusis, Greek forearm, Semitermevaridis. First Egyptian ruler with a fully developed Nebedi name. His reign, his complete reign, is present preserved on the Cairo stone. What's the Cairo stone? Anidjabev, Mayanabidros, Greek form Mayanabidros. Known for his Omnis Nuebi title. Den. Ousafariudos. First pharaoh depicted wearing a double crown of Egypt. First pharaoh with a full Niswi Bidi name. What is Niswi Bidi? This sounds strange. Dejet. Onurufurefis. Dejur. Kenakarenes. His tomb was later thought to be the legendary tomb of Osiris. And he ruled for 54 years. This is back in like 3000 something BC. Like, nobody even lived that long. So, the Jeter, congratulations for living more than half a century. Hurra, Atheos. Greek form, Altheos. And now, the man, the myth, 
the legend Narmer, or Menace, believed to be the same person as Menace, and to have up unified Upper and Lower Egypt. This man started an empire that lasted thousands of years. The first dynasty ruled from around 3100 to 2890 BC. The early dynastic period of Egypt stretches from around 31 3100 to 2686 BC. And now we're getting to a point and no, that's not the end. There are still pharaohs on this list, but these ones are so ancient and obscure that we don't even know if they actually existed. Scorpion 2, potentially read Secret, possibly the same person as Narmer. And I will start reading these dates again. Around, around 3170 BC. Ka, maybe read Senkeraren rather than Ka. Correct chronological position, unclear. Around 3170 BC. Erihul, correct chronological position, unclear. Around 3170 BC. Then we have Crocodile. Potentially read Sejuindedit. Identity and existence are disputed. Around 3170 BC. Pre dynastic rulers or the Zeroth Dynasty or Dynasty Zero. Since these kings precede the first dynasty, they have been informally grouped as Dynasty Zero. The following list of pre-dynastic rulers may be incomplete. Yeah, we looked over that, but now it is time to look at the people before even them. And these people almost certainly didn't exist. Scorpion. For the first. First ruler of Upper Egypt around... 3300 to 2250 BC. Nequada 3. Bull. Most likely never existed. Nequada 3. Stork. Most likely never existed. Nequada 3. Elephant. Around 3300 to 3250 BC. More than likely never existed. Nequada. Fish. Only known from artifacts that bear his mark around 3300 to 3250 BC. He most likely never existed. Finger Snail. The existence of this king is very doubtful. Nequada 3. A. Yeah, this person is so obscure, their name is a, only a single letter of their name is known. Only known from Graffito, discovered in the Western Desert in 2004. This ruler is otherwise unattested. Nakuata 3. That was Upper Egypt refers to the region up river to the south or lower egypt regrouped here are pre-dynastic rulers of upper egypt belonging to the late nakarawada 3 period sometimes informally described as dynasty 00 now we have beings possibly even before them Wash, only known from the Narmer Plate Tealy, around 
3150 BC, Nequata 3. Double Falcon may have ruled in Upper Egypt, Nequata 3, 32nd century BC. Hathore. Some scholars believe that this secret is simply a crude attempt at writing the name Narmer around 3200 BC. Nirei Hol, only known from clay and stone vessel found in tombs near Tarkrin, Tura, Tardrin, and Nagira. Some scholars believe that this secretet is simply a crude attempt of writing the name Narmer. Nequata II Hidujihur, only known from two clay jugs of from Tura. Nequita still. Now Kings that um, kings that I'm just going to say did not exist. A. Only known from the par Palermo 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 stone. Ruled around or earlier than 3330 BC. Mc only known from Palermo Palermo stone. Unknown. Windsor. Only known from Palermo stone, ruled around or earlier than 3300 BC. Nuxweb, only known from Palermo stone, unknown. Tedrish, only known from Palermo stone, unknown. Tui or Tedrish, only known from the Palermo stone. Unknown. Kayuatau. Only known from the Palmyro Stone. Hasikiru Seka. Only known from the Palmyro Stone. Unknown. Pu. Only known from the Palmyro Stone. Unknown. Let's see. Lower Egypt geographically consists of the Northern Nile and the Nile Delta. The following list may be incomplete. Pre-Dynastic Period The Pre-Dynastic Period ends around 3100 BC when Egypt was first unified as a single kingdom. Let's see. We have made it. We have made it to the end. From the pre-dynastic period all the way all the way to Rome. The times of Rome. We have made it from all of them. We have made it, and we have done it. We have truly made it through the entire thing. I am so happy about this, but Dan Seal Impressions. Actually, no, Den Seal. Parmarello Stone. Giza Writing Board. South Sacrata Stone. Kankra Kings List. Abduce King's List, Abduce King's List of Ramesses II, Ramusim King's List, Sakra Tablet, Turin King's List, Medioc Habu King List, Mananthio Manithos Agripavikra, Egyptia. These were pieces of evidence, but we made it, 
and thing is, if you want, I will count every single pharaoh to see how many there were. We have nine right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I'll figure it out. It'll take a little bit, but I'll figure it out.